Well, good evening, Gateway Church. It's Pastor Luke here. So glad to see you tonight. Thank you for joining us tonight for our online prayer meeting. Tonight, we're going to come together. We're going to call upon God together. And we're going to believe that God will move in your life, in your situation and in your circumstance. Maybe you're watching this this evening and you have a need. Maybe you want God to come and, and answer a prayer and bring breakthrough into your life. Maybe you're watching this and maybe you need a miracle. Then we at Gateway Church, we'd love to pray for you. We believe in the power of prayer. We'd encourage you to send in your prayer request to us. You can do that tonight by whatever social media platform that you're watching this on. Or you can also send in your prayer request to us through our website, gatewaychurchcamry.co.uk forward slash prayer requests. We'd love to pray for you as a church. But tonight we're going to come to the conclusion of our series called When to Pray. Then a little later on, we're going to pray. We're going to bring our needs and our requests before God. But let's just open up our time together by calling upon Jesus and asking him to meet us tonight. Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you tonight that, that we can come before you, Lord, that we are in your presence tonight through what you have done, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you tonight that we are the children of God, Lord, and it's all because of you, because of your love, because of what you did on the cross. Jesus, we want to say thank you. And Lord, tonight, we just want to see your will being done within our lives, Lord God. Lord, I pray tonight you would help us in our praying, Lord Jesus, Lord, so that we might see your will unfold in our lives and your name glorified. Lord, we commit tonight to you and we pray, Lord, have your way. Speak to us, encourage us. Lord, we thank you and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, tonight we're going to come to the final part of our series called When to Pray. Over these last few weeks, we've been looking at different opportunities that we are given to call upon God. At the very beginning of the series, we've seen how it's important to build into our everyday lives a scheduled time to pray. That place where we have this private altar where we can come before God, bring our requests before God, have fellowship with him and have him speak to us. It's so important that we build this into our everyday lives. Whether it's 15 minutes, whether it's half an hour, I want to encourage you to every day build some time into your life where you can call upon Jesus. But we've also seen over these last few weeks where there are other opportunities that have come our way throughout the day when we can call upon God. These spontaneous, unplanned, unexpected events which cause us, which give us an opportunity to call upon Jesus and have Jesus to meet us and meet our needs and tonight we're going to look at the final opportunity that comes our way when we can pray and call upon God. And that final opportunity is when we have sinned. You know, anything related to sin should prompt us to pray. You know, Jesus, he instructed his disciples, even with the Lord's Prayer, that even when they attempted, they should pray. You know, he says, deliver us from the evil one. Jesus said that we should call upon him even when we feel in the temptations from the enemy to sin and to mess up. We should call upon God and ask him to help us and deliver us. You know, it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, it says the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will always show you a way out so that you can endure. So whether we are being tempted or whether we've actually acted on that temptation and sin, we should call upon God and we should come to God and ask him to forgive us. Or if we're being tempted, then we should ask God to help us to, to run away and give us that way of escape from that temptation. You know, the natural thing that we want to do when we sin and when we miss, mess up is to run away and hide. We see this at the very beginning of creation with Adam and Eve. When they disobeyed God and they ate the, that fruit from that tree which God said they shouldn't eat. We see that as soon as they did it, the Bible says their eyes were open. They listened to the lies of the serpent of Satan himself and they fell and sin entered into the world. And then we see that Adam and Eve, they hid in the trees. They didn't want to see God. They, they tried to hide away from God. They thought that, you know, if they could just brush it under the carpet and hide away, then God would not know about their disobedience. But the Bible tells us and reminds us that God knows all things. Our God sees all things. We can't run away from God. No matter how much we've messed up, no matter what we've done, God sees and knows it all. We can't run away from him. It says this in Psalm 139, verse 7 to 12. The psalmist says, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. 
If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in the darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You know, sin, it cuts us off from God. Sin separates us from God. Sin is that action where we rebel against God's will and his, his desires. It's when we rebel against the Holy God and sin cuts us off from God. And all we want to do when we sin and when we mess up is run away and hide from God. And you know, that's what the psalmist says is that we can't actually hide from God because God knows all things. But you know, the Bible also tells us that God doesn't want us to hide when we mess up. We, you know, sometimes we think that if we've messed up, we can't come before a holy God and he wants nothing to do with us. But actually, it's just the opposite. It's when we've sinned, when we messed up, that we should come before God very quickly. If we are sincere and we know we've messed up and we want to get our lives right with God, then there's this incredible verse in the Bible which says this in 1 John 1 verse 9. It says, but if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. There is good news for us tonight that if you have sinned, if you have messed up, then don't stay away from God. Don't try to run away and hide away because you'll never run away from God. God knows it all. But God wants you to come near to him. And if you come with a sincere heart, a heart that wants to turn away from your sin and get your life right with God again, then know that our God will forgive you of sin. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins. God will forgive you. And how do I know that? Because Jesus went to the cross for you and for me. He showed his ultimate love for us by taking all of our sin upon himself so we could be forgiven. He did it once for all time and for all people. And if we come before God with an honest heart, with a repentant heart, and ask God to forgive us, then he will. And then we're able to move on. We're able to walk in the light. As it says in 1 John 1 verse 7, it says, But if we are living in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with each other. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. You know, when we sin, when we mess up, this is actually another opportunity for us to pray and ask God to forgive us. And you know, as I shared even a few weeks ago, I love the fact that the Bible says that our God's mercies are new every single morning, every day when we sin and we mess up, because we all do. The Bible says we all sin, we all fall short of the glory of God. None of us are right. Nothing we could do to save ourselves could make us right with God. But if we come before God and use this as an opportunity to ask God to get our lives right again, then God will forgive us. This isn't an excuse or a license for us to keep sinning and just live any way that we want, knowing that God will forgive us. No, that's not God's heart. But if we come honestly and openly and with a sincere heart and a heart to repent, then know tonight that God will forgive us. It is good news and this is an opportunity for us to pray. So as we come to a conclusion tonight and as we come to a conclusion of this series, I pray that we will allow these different circumstances that come our way, whether they planned or unplanned, may they be opportunities for us to pray, to call upon God. And when we use these opportunities for prayer, that keeps us in a strategic position to encounter God's response. I want to encourage you, use all these different types of opportunities to pray and call upon him. And remember, these are just some topics and some opportunities to pray. There are, you know, we can pray about anything and everything. There is an invitation from heaven to call upon our Saviour every moment of every single day. So I do pray that this series has helped you. And maybe you can begin to build into your life these opportunities and these times to pray and call upon God. And I just want to encourage you tonight and end this series with, but just by sharing these few verses with you. And they're found in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18 and it says this it says always be joyful never stop praying be thankful in all circumstances for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus may we use this as an opportunity to never stop praying let's never cease praying let's never stop calling upon our God amen well we're going to take a minute right now as we always do every single week in our online prayer meeting I want you to use this minute just to get your life right with God, even at the end of this series. Whatever you've done today, maybe you've messed up, maybe you're facing temptation. Let's call upon God and ask him to help us and ask him to forgive us. Let's surrender our lives to him afresh and then we're going to come back together to pray. Amen.
Oh man, you know it says in the Psalms, who can ascend the hill of the Lord? Those with clean hands and a pure heart. You know, as we put our lives right with Jesus, then we can have access to God. We can come before him holy, pure, knowing that we're forgiven, knowing that we are in right standing with God and knowing that God will hear every single one of our prayers and our cries. And tonight, we're just going to bring our request before God. You know, there'd be many people who've been sending requests in over recent months, recent weeks, and there are many members within our congregation who need a touch from God tonight. And maybe you're watching this as well, and maybe you need a touch from God. Then we're going to pray and ask God to bring about a breakthrough within your life. Amen. Let's pray together. Father God, we're just so thankful that you're a loving God, a merciful God, a compassionate God. Lord, we thank you that you have forgiven us of all of our sins, Lord Jesus. Jesus, you bore our sins upon yourself. Lord, and we thank you tonight that we can stand before you, Lord, knowing that we are forgiven, knowing that we are cleansed, knowing that we have your righteousness, Lord God, knowing that we are your children tonight. Jesus, we want to say thank you. Thank you that the access has been made possible, Lord, tonight before you, Lord. And Lord, tonight, we just want to bring all these different needs, all these different requests, which, Lord, you already know about, Lord. Lord, even before we ask about them tonight, you know about every single person. Lord, you know every single need, you know every situation, and you are able. And so, Lord, tonight, I just pray for those who are sick, who are watching, Lord God. Those who are sick, who have sent in requests. In Jesus' name, I pray you sh shall touch them, Lord God, and they shall be made whole tonight, Lord God, in your name. Lord, I thank you that you are the healer. Jesus, that you are still healing people. Lord, your word says that by your stripes we are healed. And Lord, that is what we are trusting in tonight. So Lord, would you perform miracles in people's lives, Lord Jesus? Whether it's a small illness or a severe illness, I pray in Jesus' name, would you bring about complete healing? And we ask this for your glory. Lord, would you bring about restoration in lives, Lord God? Lord, in family situations, Lord God. Lord, we pray that you will provide opportunities for, for, Lord, for jobs and for all these different things. We pray, Lord, you will make a way where there seems to be no way, Lord God. Lord Jesus, those who are watching tonight who are filled with fear and anxiety over the future, Lord God, Lord, I pray you would remind them that you are in control this evening, that you hold their lives and this world in your hands, oh God. Lord, we're just so thankful tonight that we can call upon you at any time. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity just to share your word in this series over these last few weeks. And Lord, I just pray that you will provide opportunities for us every single day just to call upon you and pray. So Jesus, we just bring all of this before you tonight and we pray, Lord, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come within our lives and would you be glorified. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, it's been so great to come together over these last few weeks for, for this series and we're looking forward to diving into God's word again next week and praying together. I want to encourage you to join us this Thursday as well at 7pm for our online Bible study. But we want you to know as a church, we are here for you. We are praying for you. Hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you soon. God bless.